Now to a dive in the Pacific where scientists are studying parts of the deep sea that have never been explored before. Emily Cristobal has the story. Nearly 1,000 nautical miles southwest of Hawaii, a NOAA team of scientists is mapping the deep sea and making groundbreaking discoveries. What is that? I don't wow. I've never seen what? anything like that. And it has it's a like, jet propulsion characteristic of a jellyfish. I mean, that is a jelly. Exploring waters deep below the surface of the Pacific Ocean, a team of 31 scientists with NOAA's Ocean Exploration Cooperative Institute is making discoveries just like these. From their research ship stationed in the Pacific remote islands, researchers are able to see the world underwater by remotely controlling two highly equipped robots. It's just arrayed with lights and sensors, and it's got two robotic arms that allow us to pick up uh, uh, samples and stuff like that. It's got a whole host of different water tanks and baskets for us to bring samples back. Brian Kennedy is one of the lead scientists of this expedition and says they even found organisms they thought had been extinct. One of my favorite organisms um, are, is the stalked crinoid that are these big, beautiful flower looking animals, but they grow this on this long stalk called sea lilies. And that's really what they look like a lot of times. And these were thought extinct. We thought these were a relic of pre-dinosaur times. Uh, and now we find that they're one of the most common organisms in the deep sea. But while this area is home to some of the most pristine waters in the world, it's already facing numerous threats. Even in the deep sea, miles underwater, there are the effects of climate change. It's getting warmer. It's getting more acidic. There's derelict fishing gear and there's litter out there. We're finding microplastics still in the deep sea. And that's why this exploration was launched, to not only survey uncharted territory, but understand what policies and actions are needed to protect the area for generations to come. So we're going to have to take really dramatic action, and that's going to involve a little bit of everything from using less to using more wisely and probably even recapturing some of the carbon we've um, emitted. Now, while their most recent expedition has finished, the scientists say their work has just begun as they now sift through the hundreds of hours of footage. You can watch more of this amazing video in the latest episode of the Repairing Earth podcast, which you can view now by scanning the QR code below. This is Emily Cristobal for Hawaii News Now.